Now, back to that Kevin show with Kevin McCullough. We are at a very crucial point in our entire year-long campaign to liberate as many slaves from South, uh, from North Sudan as possible. And I, I, I want to reiterate the good news. The good news is, is that we have crossed the 154 slave uh, freed mark uh, on our on our way to 192 uh, by the end of the year, which means we've got about 38 to go. But friends, this is where sometimes I get a little bit nervous because I don't want us to sit on our laurels and say, oh, well, look at what a good job we've done. No, there are still uh, women and children that are in extreme danger. And because of that, I want to take a little more time right here to just remind you that it's very simple and very easy to liberate a slave. Now, you, you may be of the mindset that says, I don't even know that slavery exists. Like, how do we even know this? Well, uh, they're, they're actually, the, the news is not good on that front. There are more slaves in human captivity right now than at any point in human history. And they are in various countries and they, they are held for various reasons. Um, you have human trafficking, you have sexual exploitation of minors, you have uh, indentured servitude where you have uh, young people that are working off family lineages, uh, debts. Uh, in ex excruciatingly inhumane ways. And then you have the slaves that kind of are a little bit of all of those things that are, that, that are called chattel slavery, which is what the slaves in Northern Sudan are. They were the spoils of war from the Sudan civil war that extended over 15 years. And over the last number of years, my friends at Christian Solidarity International and you and me and all of us working together have liberated uh, a, a good number of them. At the peak of the, of the Sudan Civil War, there were 185,000 slaves that were in captivity. Uh, and that were, and most of those were taken uh, as spoils of war. They were taken by Arab Muslims in the north of Sudan. It was one country at the time. They uh, they did the very same thing that Hamas did in Israel last week. They took them as hostages. They took them back to their areas. They did cruel things to them. Uh, they uh, mutilated their genitals. They forced them into uh, sexual activity that they did not uh, want. They forced them to convert their religious identity to a Muslim identity from a Christian identity. In many, many respects, uh, the cruelty was was the same as that of what Hamas did uh, just a, a week or so ago. The difference is, is that the world showed its disgust with what's gone on in Israel, and the world has largely forgotten about the slaves of South Sudan. Uh, and so for that reason, a number of years ago, we started using this platform to do as much good as we could. And we said, hey, uh, if you work with us, we're going to liberate as many as we can. And the good news is, is that over the last number of years, we have liberated upwards of 4,000 human beings through the efforts of yourself, myself, my family, your family, coming together with Christian solidarity and seeing nearly 4,000 slaves be uh, receive their freedom and relocated back to South Sudan, where their families are at, where they are from, the regions that they uh, came from, we have helped them get uh, relocated. The process is very simple. It's $250 one-time gift to liberate a slave for good. What does that include? Well, there's a negotiation that has to go on, but there is no cash exchange for the life of the slave. There is a cattle vaccine that will help keep the slave owner's uh, cattle healthy during the harsh weather season, uh, and they will gladly trade a human being for a dose of the vaccine. So we get that exchange done. And then the $250 really goes into providing what's called the bag of hope, which if you think about it, it's just a, a kit, if you will, that is designed to be the essential, critical, essential needs for that slave to regain their life in South Sudan. What, what all's in it? Well, a year's worth of food, a year's worth of seed to plant the next year's worth of food, a baby goat to help uh, bring cheer into the life, but also to bring a sense of uh, milk and uh, cheese and and food products, but also a, a form of micro enterprise, being able to breed uh, baby goats and make a little money from that. It helps the slave. And then there's the relocation. $250 does it all. Friends, I'm asking you, will you help us this week? Uh, make a dent in the 38 remaining slaves. We need your help. Here's the phone number, 888-342-1010. Now let's hear a story of somebody that we helped last year. I was a child when I was abducted by the Arabs. My parents used to own livestock and my mother would do all the cooking for us. 
I don't remember the year that I was captured. There had never been any problems in our village. Then one day, all of a sudden, we heard that there were Arabs attacking Dinka villages throughout the south. We were so worried we could not even sleep at night. It was a big concern to my mother and my father. We were told that these Arabs were heavily armed and would kill all the animals and people when they would attack. We were very scared. Then one morning, they attacked our village. We scattered in different directions and I ran, but I was captured. My entire village was burned down, and I've never seen a member of my family since. Then I was taken north, into slavery. My eyes saw horrific things on that trip to the north. Women were raped, right in front of us. Men were beaten, and four men were killed because they tried to fight back. They were shot dead before our eyes. Once at the slave master's house, I was pretty much starved and worked brutal hours every single day doing difficult and very, very hard work. There was no relief. And then they raped me. My slave master did not think of me as a human. He would not even let me go to the hospital when I fell sick. And one day I heard that there was a slave retriever from CSI close by. How I wanted to be free. That retriever secured my freedom. And thank God I was able to return to South Sudan. Thank you to each of you who helped the slaves be free. But please don't stop until we get them all. It's a reasonable request. The phone number is 888-342-1010, 888-342-1010. And your gift right now of only $250 will liberate another girl like a hoke, the one you just heard the story from. The names may sound different to our Western ears, but their hearts, their desires, their lives are no different than your own daughters. Friends, if you believe that slavery is evil, and if you believe that we should be here to make a difference, then please do. Pick up the phone, 888-342-1010, 888-342-1010. You can also give online by just going to bringherhome.org. That's bringherhome.org or 888-342-1010. That's 888-342-1010. Ready or not, we'll be right back. That Kevin. 